Uh, we received $8,000 in replacement taxes, $8,400 and change in general fund interest, and about $4,900 in gifts and donations. There were no extraordinary expenses. Uh, everything is pretty much as it usually occurs at this time of the year. Um, and uh, you have in your packet the information related to uh, both general fund interest uh, received in July and information regarding the certificates of deposit that are uh, a part of our investment ladder uh, for uh, financial purposes. Um, the only action that we are required to, to take with respect to this information is approval of the bills and salaries for July. I so move. Is there a second? No second. Okay. So, Trustee Rogers has approved the uh, move that we approve the bills and salaries for this month. Stuart has. <laughs> my last name. Stuart has seconded it. Is there any discussion or questions regarding the bills and salaries? I'm just curious what Delage Landon is. Um, that's uh, the firm that we lease our copiers from. Photocopy. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Can we take a, a roll call vote? Trustee Riddle. Oh, a second. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Fisher. Yes. Okay. Behind tab number four is an action item. And annually, we uh, pre pre prepare the Illinois State Library Annual Report. It's a statutory requirement by the state, and we need to complete it in order to apply for the pro capita grant, which is usually around $20,000. It serves as an ex excellent benchmark for data and has all the statistics regarding what's going on in the library and is a good gauge of it. One quick note is that the uh, items that are listed in, on some, on some, for example, if you look at page, yeah, where would that be? Let's go. Page four is an example. Yeah, page four, the light colored uh, fonts are this year and the dark colored fonts are last year's statistics. Are there any questions about this? I move approval of the um, annual report to the Illinois State Library. Second. Okay. Trustee Rogers has approved the um, move to approve the Illinois State Library annual report. Trustee Fishman has seconded it. Any discussion or questions regarding that annual report? Um, I just wanted to be sure that, um, well, this is a, while this is a public document, there still are, um, you know, phone, phone numbers and um, you know, personal phone numbers that are on here and addresses. The email is obviously Wilmette Public Libraries, but I was wondering if by chance this would be redacted when left for the minutes, uh, for example, for next week as we approve them and so on. Um, you know, this is something we submit to the state, but I don't know if personal email, or I'm sorry, personal phone numbers need to be on here. That's not always public. Now we can choose to not, you know, make personal phone numbers public. Um, I, I would say we have historically not had any redactions on this um, mm -hmm. regarding the public officials' information um, as considered public information. However, um, if you wish to request that there's a redaction of your phone number, for example, I think we could do that for the purposes of the minutes. But the document will still live as a public document and could be FOIA'd with that content available. Okay, yeah. May I make the request, please, for personal, my at least my personal phone number to be redacted? 
It's been moved and seconded, and Trustee Riddle's phone number will be redacted from the minutes, from the copy that's included with the minutes. Do we need a second of that? No. Okay. Roll call, please. Mm -hmm. Trustee Riddle. Roll call. Aye. So. Trustee Johnson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Fishman. Yes. Okay. Behind number five is the ordinance for the annual budget and appropriation ordinance for library purposes for the fiscal year 2019 and 20, 19 and 20. As mentioned earlier when we uh, started the meeting, there was a budget he uh, hearing with no comments. And I'm going. And the purpose of this is in order to spend the money that we've approved to budget. I'm going to turn it over to Trustee Austin. Do you? I mean, Trustee <laughs> President. Director. Director <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, again to reiterate, we had our tentative budget and appropriation ordinance at our last month's meeting. And um, again, as, as uh, Trustee McDonald just indicated, the purpose of the budget and appropriation ordinance is to um, provide the legal um, ability for the library to expend the revenues that it receives. That's the purpose of this document. Um, so I can provide an overview of the document if you'd like, if we want to go forward with the motions to get to the discussion, we can mm -hmm. we can do that as well. Um, however, you would like to proceed. I think I'll do the motions to get to the discussion. Okay, the discussion I'll motion to follow. approve the to approve the resolution. Trustee Wolf has approved. Is there a second? I second. Trustee Fishman has seconded. It's been moved to approve the combined annual budget and appropriation ordinance for library purposes for the fiscal year 2019-20. Discussion and questions. Thank you, Trustee Johnson. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad our attorney is here. Um, can you participate in the conversation as well? I trust. I will if invited to. Yes, yeah, he please, can. That's please. why he's here. He's here as a. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, tax objections and uh, sort of uh, operating balance. So our operate. So our general uh, operating. Uh, expenditures were a $5.3 million operation. How much money can we have in our general fund until we are at risk of a tax objection? Uh, approximately a whole year's worth of expenses. Uh, we can carry it forward from year to year in a reserve without uh, triggering a tax objection. And so if we have $9.1 million in our general fund, and we can carry 5.3 million, are we at risk of a tax objection? Uh, I would say that's, that's a possibility. But if we're carrying, uh, I mean, it's a question of whether or not that nine point, that $9 million includes uh, receipts from the first uh, installment of this year's taxes. So. Well, we got seven million dollars in CDs and about a, another two million dollars in a bank account. So, no, we should we should take a look and see what uh, you know. You know, you have to you're trying to correlate the the actual receipts uh, from last year's levy and the first installment. How much of that is from the first installment? But anyway, yeah, we we can take a look and see whether or not that's. Uh, So, um, uh, point of information. So, yeah. when you say trigger, and Dan, to your question, yeah. that means whether the community or someone, when I'm not quite sure of that definition, will trigger. Well, I mean, I don't know. Let me say at the outset, I'm not, this is really, uh, and I'll, I'll defer to the board, is this mm -hmm. is really not, uh, I guess I don't see this as being relevant to the budget and appropriation ordinance. Mm -hmm. It's relevant, I guess, because we have estimated uh, fund balances. So if you want to talk about tax objections rather than the B&A, we can talk about that. Mm -hmm. 
I think we just want to talk about the B and A, and I think in terms of carryover, that can be handled in the finance committee when it, that's being scheduled for some time in August, August September, because this is our, the B and A is just to approve the sure, but to spend the money. Like if last year's budget, we ended up splashing three hundred thousand dollars over to our general fund, and if this year's budget. If, if we know we've got too much money in our operating reserves, and we know that we do, I think that ought to inform whether this budget reflects that uh, reality or not. And if we're putting ourselves in a position that anybody can file a tax objection, and it sounds like we are. So that's why I raised it, because the attorney's not here. The budget new. We have always had, there's always the possibility that someone might file a tax objection. I think that it's a matter of opinion whether we have too much money. That's a judgment call. And this board has made that judgment call multiple times over the years and made the decision that this that it was not too much money to have on hand under the circumstances that we're operating under and the long range plans that we have in place. It is um, well, that, that we was my don't question. Re we have not yeah. received a steady flow of such objections, and generally this community is extremely supportive of library services. Um, so there is a substantial amount of speculation and opinion in those remarks. I, so I, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Trustee <laughs> Rogers. So, since we're focusing right now on the budget and appropriation of ordinance, it's the good enough. Yeah. Good enough for me. Let's. The you answer have a question. John's question is, I think he means is that the public it could okay, trigger the right. public, anyone from our right. well, city of Willamette, Kenilworth. Ron's comment. Yes, yes. thank yeah. you. Could file to clarify that. And at any time of the year, it sounds like. Only residents pass. of the Wilmette Library District would be eligible to make such a filing. No resident of Kenilworth would be entitled to do so because they are not subject to okay. our I, I tax rate. Right. Okay. Any other comments regarding the ordinance? I have a comment. I think that um, Trustee Johnson brings up um, questions, I think, that um, and I've had questions, I know, in past meetings that we can discuss at the next finance committee meeting. And um, I have a, I, I had that same question. I have some questions about the reserve, which I know isn't part of the, today, what's on the table, but um, kind of consistent with my votes, my voting last month and the month prior. I don't know if I have enough information still um, to um, to vote in favor of of this, and I would encourage all of you to think about that. Do you feel like you have enough information before you? I know a lot of you have a, um, a long history and background, but um, we've we've had a lot of discussion in prior meetings, and I think that with considering the finance committee meeting being scheduled and several agenda items, including the reserve, and now possibly the, ability, the, the possibility of the uh, a tax objection. I, I, I didn't think th through that. I would encourage all of you to think through if you feel as though this is something we should approve today. Thank also, you, Trust. Oh, sorry. With the public, I was disappointed not to see really this was a public hearing before this, no public. Maybe we should ask, maybe we should make a concerted effort to survey our public more before our finance committee meeting so that we have something to go off of more. I mean, we are representing our constituents, and um, I think that's it's important. So, I, okay. Thank you, Trustee Riddle. We'll put that in the parking lot and I think when the finance committee comes together and you're on the you serve on that committee it can be discussed but there have been multiple finance committees and we as trustees can pick up and call Anthony we can call Barb 
and ask for any questions that we want. And I think there have been multiple explanations if you avail yourself. Sure. And I, I know there's a learning curve. I agree. I haven't been trustee long enough to mm -hmm. be at a finance committee meeting yet. So that will be my first one as a trustee. Okay. But there was also orientation, but I don't think this is the time to go through that. And there's a motion on the table, so can we have a vote now? One more question, please. Uh, no. Is it about the it yes, the BNA? Yes. If it's about the BNA, it is. fine. Okay. Thank you. So, um, I you know, it's a procedural one. Uh, is the the five point eight million? I know the BNA. <clears throat> it's about ten percent, sort of more than our working budget, mm -hmm. and it has a four hundred thousand dollar contingency, and it's got the. Uh, despite my best efforts last month, uh, $200,000 transferred the special reserve fund. The question I had is the um, the 5.8 million of revenue. Is that the same figure in the working budget, the actual budget, as it is in the BNA, or did that figure change? It? It's derived from the tax levy. It's directly from um, the line in the levy. That's how that, and that, and that is cited um, in the document here itself under estimated revenues. Sure. Um, there's an asterisk that indicates that it's based on the levy. But is that the same amount that's in our working budget? In the working budget.